this video we're going to talk about the shopping cart serial killer he has been linked to five different murders of five different women in the state of virginia how the named got dubbed shopping cart serial killer is because after he killed his victims he would transport the bodies in a shopping cart and then dump them Luckily, the shopping cart serial killer has been caught and arrested. The identity of this man is Anthony Robinson, 35. The victims of this serial killer, hopefully I say this name right, is Tonita Smith, age 39, Elizabeth Redmond, age 54, Cheyenne Brown, age 29, Stephanie Harrison, age 48, and then the newest victim is Sonia Champ. Don't know where age or anything there really wasn't much about her how anthony robinson would target his victims by using dating websites and apps like plenty of fish and tagged to lure his victims out from behind a phone screen and meet him in real life the shopping cart serial killer or anthony robinson would take them out on a date and then eventually lead them back to a motel room there's been two cities that he's dumped bodies in one has been in harrisonburg and there's another one, Alexandria Fairfax area. And the specific motel that the police have mentioned is called the Moon Inn Motel, which has, is an interesting name. Once Anthony Robinson was done with what he wanted to do, the shopping cart serial killer would get a shopping cart, push the shopping cart to the spot he wanted to dump the bodies. Then the shopping cart serial killer would leave. The police chief noted that what is remarkable about Robinson is that he had no criminal record prior to his arrest on the murder charges last police month. wouldn't specifically say whether or not the shopping cart serial killer sexually assaulted his victims. Davis did state Anthony Robinson did unspeakable things with his victims. Robinson was originally charged with two murders in the county of Harrisonburg, Virginia. When the police found the two bodies in the vacant lot in Harrisonburg, they found new evidence after arresting Robinson. So they went to the Fairfax area and went to the Moon Inn Motel, searched around there in a wooded area, and found a shopping cart. And remembered Robinson used shopping carts to transport his victims in the Harrisonburg case. And not too far away from the shopping cart was a plastic container. And when they opened the large plastic container, the police found two different bodies from two different women. Robinson hasn't been officially charged with the two bodies found at the Moon Inn Motel, but there is a link. The police just got to get more evidence to charge him because you got to have the probable cause and, you know, the evidence. But... Hopefully soon he gets charged with those two so the families can have closure with those. When it comes to the murder charges with Robinson, the people that he's been charged with murdering is Elizabeth Redmond, 54, and Tonita Smith, 39. And the biggest evidence that they've given out to prove this is surveillance video, cell phone records. So all that connects Robinson with the murders of Redmond and Smith. So hopefully they can use it even more to, you know, connect them to even more. And hopefully some more unsolved cases can get solved. And luckily he's already caught because, you know, he's one sick person. And I'm glad that he has been caught, you know. Hopefully you guys like the video. Leave in the comments below what you guys want to see, what you liked about the video. And yeah, I mean, that's all I really got. It's just an interesting case, a really sad one, you know, but he got caught pretty fast and that's mostly because of the good police work. Plus, you know, you gotta remember the technology we have today is a whole lot easier to catch certain people if they're not careful. But I'll talk to you guys in the next video.